thank you for invitation. Uh, for us, uh, the, all the... Ah, sorry, I don't know. Now it's better. Okay. Uh, all the, the advantages of knowledge uh, after human genome projects and all the knowledge is about how our genomes uh, structure and how our genes are working are now transposed in daily clinical practice. This is connection in what we know already that each individual is unique in terms of anatomy, anatomy, pathology, in terms of predisposition and response to treatment. And now we have this correlation with uh, practice, with diagnosis, and with treatment. Taking, we can talk actually about a personalized health care that includes on the one hand the predisposition of each individual to some disorders. Here we can talk, we can think to um, predisposition gene testing and predisposition genes especially for cancer that uh, now are available in order to predict and to prevent uh, the disease and to act before the disease to be advanced. This involves also an active participation of the patient that sometimes needs to change his health uh, uh, lifestyle. Also, in terms of pharmacogenetics in our genetic profile that codify our enzymes that um, afford the medication to be metabolized and be active substances. Here are some profiles that explains why for regular doses, some patients have toxicity, some others have no response, some other needs increasing or not response at all. So this profile that already are tests um, could explain and could help in choosing one medication or other. In terms of uh, targeted therapies, yes, they are molecules that have been designed as a cure molecules and not as a symptomatic, but have been designed as a um, uh, curative treatment. That means that molecules act specific to one protein or one enzyme. This enzyme is having a genetic um, underlying, uh, so a genetic cause, and if it's normal, if we don't find out that it exists, this abnormal gene, uh, it's uh, useless all the treatment. And uh, in the final, I want to say about the genomic profile of tumors in cancers, and uh, which uh, have been proved that two identical, for example, breast cancer tumors could be extremely variable in terms of which genes are switched on and which genes are switched off. That explains why some aggressiveness and prognostic management therapy and recurrence risk of the patients and are very useful to guide uh, better treatment in order to improve uh, health and to reduce adverse outcomes. Thank you. Thank you so much.